Hebrews 13, we're just going to see some supporting scripture just that, that kind of backs up, which we already see here in verse 4 of not fearing any evil because God's with us. Uh, Hebrews 13, verse 5, the Bible reads, let your, let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as you have. For he had said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee, so that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. See, when you become a child of God, when you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, God is never going to forsake you. He's never going to leave you. You are his. You belong to him. You are in his hand. And the Bible says no man can pluck you out of his hand. You are in the Lord's hand when you're saved. And that is some great news there. And because we know this and because we have a promise from God and that God that cannot lie has made a promise of, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee, we can boldly say, we can say with complete confidence and boldness, with, with no doubt whatsoever, the Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do with me, do unto me. I don't, it doesn't matter what he's going to do unto me. He can't do anything unto me with God with me, with God on my side, with God being right there with me. That is some very encouraging words. But flip back to, to chapter 12. Because just as much as we could have the confidence in the Lord to be watching over us, to be protecting us, to, to make us not have any fear of what man can do unto us, he's also there to love us and to lead us in the right way, to lead us in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake, and, and to help us become who he wants us to be. And that happens through the rod and the staff. Now here, this is the right attitude in Psalm 23. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. It's a comfort to know that God cares about us enough to correct us. It's a comfort to know that God loves us enough to discipline us when we need it. That actually is a comfort and it ought to be comforting to you. If you haven't seen this in reality, you will, I'm sure, before you pass on, parents who don't care about their children. Parents who don't care about their children don't discipline their children. They'll let their children do whatever they want to do. The parent, the parent, the kid that's just able to just do anything, they have total freedom, they can go anywhere they want to go, they can do anything they want to do, they can stay out as late as they want to stay, stay out, they can just fend for themselves and just do everything. The parents do not care about them, they do not love that child. And that is a sad state. You know, as a child, when I was younger, I used to look at kids who lived in households like that and think, wow, how cool that must be. You don't have all these rules, right? You can do this and you can do that. And your mom will buy you beer and your, you know, whatever. And you can do all these things that, that as a child, as a foolish child, you think are so cool and so great. And man, you can just go out and, and it doesn't matter. And, you know, it's, it's midnight and you can just come home whenever you want. How great. You know what? That's a miserable life. Because the friends I knew that had households like that were, did not have good households at all. And there was no love in those houses. And I experienced that a little bit. I wasn't able to put two and two together because you just kind of think about the one side of it. But any time I was over there, I, I, I knew that, you know, the houses were always filthy. There's always a big wreck, the holes in the wall. There's always fighting and stuff going on. And, and lots of other problems go along with that because there's no love there. No love. And it is comforting to know that parents love their child enough to make these rules, to make these boundaries, to make sure that they're protected. Because that's what the rules are for. Kids, that's what the rules are for. When your parents are giving you rules, it's because they love you. So if you, if you think, man, my parents are so strict, you know what? Thank God that you have parents that care enough about you to make strict rules. Because all they, what they care about is you, and they care about your protection, and they care about you not being destroyed by some predator that wants to come in and destroy you. Even if it's just accidentally, they don't want bad things to happen to you. And when you get chastened, when you get spanked, when you get disciplined with that rod of correction, it's because it ought to ultimately be a comfort for you. 
because mom and dad care enough to put aside whatever they may be doing, to stop what they're involved with, to deal with a, a very important thing that needs to be dealt with in the upbringing of a child, and that's the discipline. 